Good afternoon, this is Lawrence from Lakeshore RV. We are gonna do a quick orientation video on your brand new 2022 Prowler by Heartland 271BR Bunk Room. Coming right up here to the front. Power tongue jack with a light on there. Two 20 pound propane tanks that are gonna be filled and ready for you. Brand new interstate battery, 12 volt interstate battery. Right there on the frame is your Furion solar charge, 10 amp, plug in right there. And there's the starting of the hitches, weight distribution hitch by Husky Centerline, that's right there. The rest of it is tucked away inside the front storage bay with the instructions. I'll cover that a little bit more for you. We're gonna come around first to the non-camp side on the driver's side. So right up here, you are gonna have the pass-through storage bay. So you have lots of space through there. Prowler gives you a finished 52 cubic feet of storage, one of the largest in the travel trailer industry, which is really nice. Tinted windows and a lot of visibility as you go throughout the trailer. And you have your main slide out here with those large windows that are tinted and can be opened up for cross ventilation. So that is your dining room sofa slide out. Right down here, you are gonna have some bolts if you do some T-jacks, if you're gonna be leaving that open for extended period of time. It's a nice extra bracing system. Right behind the side is your 30 amp power supply hook in, your city water connection, and a tank flush valve below that. And then you're gonna have your hot and cold outside shower Nice little compartment right there. Right below that, you are gonna have your black and gray discharge station. Stabilizing jacks for the front and the back. They are power and they're all gonna be controlled from the campsite. There's your main cable power supply hook in. There's your four inch bumper with the tire mount on the back. Those little rubber plugs do come off for storing your sewer line hose when not in use. Right up here is prepped for a Furion backup camera. And then we're gonna open up this back cargo door, very large cargo door here. There's your back bunk room. Turn the light on there. So there's your ladder for the top bunk. This mattress can come off. There's three separate panels. So if these mattresses go up on the top bunk, these lightweight panels can go and bolt up against the sidewall there. Gives you a nice little mini garage for bikes or coolers or just some extra stuff. Now we're gonna come through the camping side here. Nice big LED lit awning. On here, you're gonna have this pull down to adjust pitch. So if it does have some light rain, you pull down on one side, three or four inches so it water runs off and not pooling in the middle. Here's your power jacks. I go down and get you all set up that way. Got your outside speakers up top above the window. Microwave vent. Here's your water heater. There, it's a gas and electric. There's your fresh water connection. If you decide that you're going someplace where you're not gonna have water hookup, you do need to take that fresh water tank filled or fill it up when you get there. There's a power supply here and a cable plug-in if you do bring a little table and TV outside here. You do have some low point drains underneath there. There's your fold-up safety steps. Nice grab handle there for safety. On these steps, if this is not flat to the ground, you may have the door here hit that, so you want to make sure that's level and you can adjust that with these little toggle pins on both sides. These will slide up and down to give you uh, the ability to adjust those steps out. There's your front power jacks and your other side of the storage. 
There's your Husky center line hitch, your 30 amp power supply, your basic sewer line hose, and then you have your 30 to 15 adapter there if you want to pre-cool off the fridge the day before a trip. Let's go inside your new prowler. Right up on the inside here, you are gonna have your inside lights and your awning lights. So this right switch is for the awning, left switch is for your main living room, your main slide in and out, and your awning in and out. Those are your main controls there. On the kitchen side, your 50-50 stainless steel sink. Lots of little storage cabinets there. Spot for a small little trash can underneath here, but nice ball bearing draw, double drawers. Cabinets up above. You have a light switch right here for toggles. You do have a power supply there. There's your Suburban three burner stove and oven. Furion overhead fan and light and your high point microwave. Then you have your 11 cubic foot refrigerator freezer. So this is electric, it's giving a good amount of space there. It's nice and cool down. These do cool from the top down. So the freezer cools down first before it gets to the uh, bottom level. There's your main thermostat here. Now I have this set up to test the air conditioning. So I have it on cool, high, and auto. Otherwise you can go to heat off, fan low, fan high, cool, high, cool low, cool auto, and you can control the temperature from there. That'll control your heating cooling system. Right down below that is your carbon monoxide monitor and your cold air return. There's your entrance door to the back bunk room. So those are the panels that can actually come up and go against the wall. You have lights throughout and a nice little TV slash wardrobe there. So great little bonus bunk room. Back in the back where the bathroom is, right there is a pretty big storage bay closet. A little pantry or linen closet. Right below that is your fuse panel breaker box. In the bathroom, it's got a pretty spacious bathroom here, so you got a, a nice step-in tub, but it gives you a lot of room to sit down and move around. Now what Prowler does is they put these controls right in the bathroom here. So one of these is for your light. The other one is for your fan up above. And then you also have a switch here. Right now it can run with the fan hood down. And then right above the outlet here, you do have your water pump. Only use the water pump when you need to if you're taking fresh water with you. That'll create your pressure. Otherwise, if you're hooked up to city water, that's going to create your pressure for you. And then you have your LP water heater and your electric water heater. Um, you want to make sure you definitely have water in the water lines before you activate your heaters. Now, the LP gas will heat up faster than the electric. You do have controls for your battery, fresh water tank, black, gray one, gray two. So. Here's your nice big windows that can open up. Now these shades here are accordion shades and they're based off of tension. So if for some reason those tensions loosen up, it's because these wires have to be tightened. Again, on your lights, you can have them on or you can toggle them off. Nice little dinette that drops down for a sleep space. Sofa that has little storage underneath. As well as a little drop down divider. Nice big space for a TV. Sound system right there by Linear Series. Coming right up here to the front, there is your queen bed there. Nice big cabinets with little cubbies there. So in here you do have little lights in your closet. 
and outlets. Lights up above. And then up here you do have spots for mounting a TV if you need to, internet, and the 4G gateway, which I can cover more in detail with you later. Underneath the bed, you do have a little bit of front storage access there. And that is your new 2022 Prowler 271 Bunker Room. Congratulations, guys. Thank you again from Lawrence at Lakeshore RV.